Welcome back, everyone. Dr. Fadi Abbas is with us today. He's an ear, nose, and throat surgeon with Midwest Surgical Specialist. We're talking a little bit about the issue of sinusitis and some of the stats you guys have provided. One out of seven adults in the United States to deal with this. First of all, tell us what that is. Sinusitis is simply a, a term we use to indicate inflammation of the sinuses. Um, inflammation of the sinuses basically is a result of the sinuses inability to um, perform the basic function, which is to filter the air we breathe, um, humidify it, condition it so that it's adequate to go into the human lungs. I got you. Are there specific things, as you mentioned, that can cause it? I think a pollution and just changes in the atmosphere, that kind of thing? Yeah, most cases of sinusitis are really multifactorial. So in most cases, we're dealing with multiple issues uh, related to exposure to dust, fumes, chemicals, irritant, allergens. Uh, sometimes there are other factors, genetic or congenital factors. There Sometimes there are obstructive factors like a growth, a tumor, or a polyp. But most of it is really environmental exposure. What, if someone's having this, this problem, are there certain signs they can look for? What are some of the common symptoms they might see? Yeah, we're, we're all familiar with the typical signs of, of sinusitis. Typically, we're talking about congestion, facial discomfort, pressure, drainage, headaches. Um, and, you know, sometimes it can become more severe where people can have uh, difficulty with vision. Um, but most of the time, it's uh, issues related to the uh, to, to breathing and facial discomfort. Yeah, it's not fun, as you mentioned. Are there procedures or maybe a range of procedures depending on the severity for you guys when a patient comes in with this? Uh, we always try to tailor the treatment to the specific situation that we are dealing with. Um, and so at times, uh, it's obvious early on that you know a patient is going to require more aggressive intervention. But most of the time, we like to start with uh, things that are more conservative or simple, such as the use of antibiotics, irrigations, nasal sprays. And then we escalate the treatment and be become a little more aggressive, depending on the severity of the disease and, and the amount of relief that we are able to obtain. And, and I know you've dealt with this, where patients have a different level of tolerance of, of kind of those symptoms that they can handle. What, what point do you get to where you, they should come in and, and see you guys? So, um, you know, we all have experienced some symptoms of sinusitis from time to time, but in general, when these symptoms become persistent, they're not responding to the usual basic over-the-counter treatments, uh, when they are starting to have a significant impact on the quality of life. Um, there are some studies there that have compared uh, the, the, the impact of chronic sinusitis to other conditions and actually it scored similar to having cancer. And so this is something that can have a, a, a very significant impact in terms of the general quality of life of people. And obviously anytime that people have unusual symptoms, if there's significant pain, if the symptoms are more on one side than the other, then that can be an indication that there's something more serious going on. And the number they can call 419-998-8244. And you said, as, as you mentioned, the key is to come in and get evaluated and see what needs to be done, right? Precisely. Yeah, excellent. Well, doctor, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nice talking with you. Thank you. My pleasure. You bet. We'll be back after this.